I've always been interested in bugs and that, that when I was younger I used to be called the bug boy so now it's uh, Roach Man. My name is Kyle Kandillion. I'm a former sustainability intern at the University of Michigan Dearborn's Environmental Interpretive Center and this is my sustainability initiative project the compost bin for cockroaches or bladder composting bin. Bladder composting is basically using roaches to treat organic food waste and to recycle that waste material, preventing it from getting into the waste stream. Uh, right now, as far as we can tell, they eat almost anything, including one another, when they run out of uh, any other available food sources. So uh, they do seem to have a preference for eating such things as melons, uh, bananas, banana peels, apple cores, uh, probably soft, fleshy uh, sorts of foods. Since the beginning of this individual project, which happened in September of 2012, We've actually composted more than 50 pounds of organic food waste already. So these are a species of cockroach that is found in bat caves in South America. There are a couple thousand in here, uh, over a hundred of which are adults. I do realize that the majority of people have a you roaches sort of feel to them, but I suppose you'd have to, to uh, get over that with pretty much anything like worms or uh, beetles or anything like that. It's just the, the negative stigma attached to invertebrates as opposed to say if we were using, I don't know, this is a hilarious example, but puppies for doing this. Like, oh, puppies are, you know, cuddly, lovable, fuzzy, etc. versus, you know, you roaches, they're nasty. Uh, they're a bit creepy, uh, but in general, there's nothing to worry about. Um, they are self-contained within whatever container you put them in. Uh, these particular ones are tropical in origin, and therefore, if they did escape, say the aquarium were to crack, or some, somebody reaches in and lets a few of them loose, uh, they're extremely unlikely to survive in the wild here. They can't tolerate the cold winter conditions. This has probably been of our, one of our most um, uh, eye-catching uh, demonstration projects that we've had at the center whenever we have children or visitors to the center this is one of the first things that they look at and they spend the most time uh, looking at it. 